Welcome back. As the new Bill Stadium continues to rise, the Community Benefits Oversight Committee met once again today. It was formed, of course, to help monitor the team's promise to invest in the community in exchange for the hundreds of millions of tax dollars being used to help finance that stadium. As our Dave McKinley reports now, they also got an update on the construction itself in Orchard Park. Right, Dave? They did, Scott. According to a representative of the Bills, 61% of the structural steel has been laid and the thousands of workers involved have now put in a collective total of more than one million hours on this project due to be completed in a little under two years. The bill's representative also told the panel they've pretty much been able to meet goals set by the state, which is paying for most of this project in terms of the number of women, minority and veteran owned businesses doing work here, although they've had to look far and wide to find them. He showed them a chart indicating that while 60% of them came from within a 100 mile radius of Orchard Park, the remaining 40% were found in some cases in other states. Board member Sean Mulligan proposed a resolution which was tabled that would, as he put it right size some of the contracts being let for this work. It uh, calls upon the the general contractor to break up some of those contracts into smaller ones, allowing more local companies and their workers to benefit from this once in a generation or more project. Maybe there's not you know there's not the capacity for one company to do the entire roof for the stadium. But maybe there's 10, and if you break it down into, you know, half a million, $200,000, maybe a $50,000 contract, that would spread the wealth a little bit. But the community benefits agreement doesn't just involve construction of the new stadium. There will also be hiring quotas once it's operational. And beyond that, the bills are required to invest $3 million every year for the next three decades into the community. One board member suggested there needs to be more clarity on how interested groups can get in on that, and she'd like that sooner than later. Okay, we have this process that's kind of moving forward, but we don't have an application process in place. We, we don't have a clear deadline on when you can submit a proposal. I believe that we owe it to our people to make sure that when we do have the public hearing, we have all of these pieces in place. The bill's rep said they're working on that and the public hearing she referenced is tentatively being scheduled for early December. On your side in the studio, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Thanks, Dave.